Hey everyone, it's Mia from Aikido Security and today we are going to be exploring how Aikido can assist you with all things domain and API security. If you're here because you checked out my high level overview video, today we are going to be exploring the yellow section of the one slider, specifically DAST, authenticated DAST and API endpoint scanning. To kick things off as always, I'm logging in with my GitHub and as soon as I'm in, I'm going to be clicking on the purple side pane, focusing in on domains and APIs. Over here, we've got a bunch of domains preloaded into my demo account, but to perform my first DAS scan, I'm going to be running one on a front end application. There we go. And once I've pasted it in, it's already been loaded in. Let's find it. A test is currently being run, as you can see up here in purple. When that's done, we're going to see all of our different vulnerabilities. Let's see which ones beans.com has for us today. And voila, here we have beans.com with a lot of different vulnerabilities. I have no idea who owns beans.com, by the way. So if it's you, shout out. Very interesting website over here. Um, but beginning with our very obvious CSP header misconfiguration, our HSTS header that's missing, we've obviously got a lot here to fix. To go about mitigation, you can add a task, you can snooze, ignore, adjust the severity of an issue. It's entirely up to you. But this is really our first top level scan for your beans.com domain in this case. Obviously, it's more than just a top level scan. What we're also able to do on beans.com, but any of the domains that you would like to load in, is authenticate the domain. So if you have login credentials, you can actually enter them here. And using your email and password, we're actually able to go into the inside of the application and scan there to make sure that no one can potentially harm you once they're logged into your app. Finally, from a REST API and GraphQL side of things, we're also able to perform API endpoint scanning. So if you are you know, running some REST APIs or some GraphQLs, obviously for this, please only use it in your staging environment because we don't want to be running dynamic tests on your live production. <laughs> but if you connect one of these, Aikido is going to ask you to upload a Swagger file or an open API spec. And using this, we are able to perform dynamic tests on your endpoints to make sure no one can attack at surface level. What's going on under the hood? Same as everywhere in the UI, you can actually check out our checks across the board. So we're leveraging OWASP ZAP templates and Nuclei templates to do some of the dust and authenticated dust. And then for the REST API and GraphQL, we've got our own rule sets available for you to read through here in the UI. On the DAS side of things, this pretty much covers it, but it wouldn't be fair to have a DAS video without lightly touching on Aikido Zen, our runtime component. So clicking into Zen Firewall, although this is not our full Zen video, a good thing to know about the Zen Firewall is it is able to generate that Swagger Doc or Open API spec for you. So if you don't want to go through that yourself, or if you just like it to be automated and you've connected Zen to your application, we're actually able to generate that spec for you and it saves you a little bit of time. If you liked what you saw today and you'd like to check out more of our content, check out the links in the description to find out about our runtime components, our ASPM, our CSPM, and of course the general overview of what we offer and how we can help you across the software development lifecycle. Thanks so much guys. See you in the next one.